Welcome back to Yahoo Finance. The auto industry is in the midst of a transformation from electrification to autonomous driving and connected vehicles. Now, while there are plenty of newcomers to the auto market, one of the most storied brands, Mercedes-Benz, is adding its own luxury spin. Yahoo Finance's Pras Subramanian is here with more context for us. Pras? Thanks, Rochelle. I'm here with uh, Mercedes-Benz U.S. CEO, Dimitri Salakis. Dimitri, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, I want to start right away with 2021. You guys had a strong year, sales up 1%, but Q4, a little bit of a dip there. Um, is that due to sort of like supply constraints that you guys are facing? And is that something that will extend into the current quarter? Hello, good afternoon, Pras. Uh, yeah, 21 was a very good year for us, uh, especially taking into account the models that we launched in 2021. But uh, we had to face the challenges. The industry was in uh, in the constraint with the uh, semiconductor crunch. Mercedes Benz also uh, was a victim of this of this challenge. So Q4 was uh, um, a weak part of the year. But looking to 22, we have a better start in the first quarter, and uh, we expect things to get better in the second half of the year. So one of those products out last year, late last year, was the EQS electric sedan. Um, let's talk about more of this, about the EV game plan for Mercedes. Um, you guys have sort of been pushing this uh, initiative quicker than other than, than your rivals have, getting more to market faster. Um, what do you think EV leadership looks like from Mercedes' point of view? Uh, we're very, I would say, demanding to this end. Our, uh, our, our strategy is to become the most desired electric vehicle brands uh, in, in the U.S., uh, in the luxury segments. Uh, EQS represents the Mercedes of electric. We launched it in, uh, in November last year. Uh, we have a pretty uh, um, steady supply of uh, EQS in the market and the comments both from media, from experts, but also from our customers and dealers are spectacular. So I think we're on the right foot on this, uh, uh, in this new era. Two of the other EV products you guys have been showing recently have been the EQ5 sedan as well as the EQB SUV that are pretty highly anticipated. When do you think we'll see these two models? Do you think that'll happen in 2022? We have uh, a pretty, uh, I would say, uh, fast pace on introducing new, new electric vehicles in the market. The EQB is the first one to come in, in early uh, second half here, and that will be followed by the EQE sedan, uh, will be followed by the EQS um, um, SUV, uh, which, by the way, will be produced uh, here in the U.S. in our factory in Alabama. And uh, very late in the year, or potentially the first quarter of 2023, the EQE SUV. So it's a firework of electric vehicles, uh, most of them on the SUV segments, which will uh, touch ground uh, this year or very late this year, some of them. You know, speaking of SUVs and that Alabama plant, you guys make a lot of those uh, of those down there. Um, Mercedes still sells a, a boatload of traditional gas-powered SUVs. When do you think you'll see that switchover where the, the public and and your your buyers will will look to more of the electric vehicles as opposed to buying those really kind of um, high margin, really high value uh, SUVs that, that customers your customers now really enjoy. Um, nobody can give a specific date when, let's say, the industry or let's say demand will tip from the from the uh, internal combustion engine to the to the electric uh, vehicle engine. We're prepared. We're very flexible, uh, producing both in in, in our factories. Uh, very much depends also on infrastructure and the speeds of developing infrastructure in the country. And uh, more than that, customers getting familiar with electric vehicles, uh, being acquainted with the charging procedure. So we are very optimistic that this will come faster than, uh, than anticipated. Well, Dimitri, we'll definitely have our eyes on those on those electric cars, especially the EQS. I'd love to get my get my get my uh, get, a, get a seat <laughs> in that car. Uh, but thanks again. I really appreciate Dimitri Salakis, Mercedes-Benz US CEO. Uh, Brad, back over to you. All right. Thanks so much, Pros. Appreciate it.